All right, boys, today we're going to look at the best $200 graphics card for competitive gaming. And we're going to be looking at the RTX 3050 and the RX 6600 non-XT. Now we know the RX 6600 non-XT is faster on AAA games if you set everything on Epic or Ultra and all that stuff. But here, we're looking at competitive games. So we're doing competitive settings. So we're going to be playing Warzone, Apex Legends, Fortnite, Veteran, PUBG, and we're going to set everything on competitive settings and let's see which one is better. Is the RTX 3050 better or the RX 6600 non-XT is... and here we go. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Benchmark, no contest in here. It's a wash for the RX 6600 and look at that one boys, the RX 6600 is much more efficient compared to the RTX 3050 consuming about 13% more look at that 113 watts for the RTX 3050 both a GPU bottleneck in here so yeah yeah that's pretty low for the RTX 3050 these are competitive 1080p settings boys but yeah pretty low compared look at that 54 57 1% loss let's check out if we switch on TLCs and FSR 2.1 let's see if there's any chance for the RTX 3050 do fight on and here we see it's a bit better look at that it's better uh it's much more efficient too so they're more or less around 100 watts now um uh, yeah but it's um the rx 6600 non xt is still obviously you know now with episode 2.1 a very important if you're using episode 2.1 um, just use this on multiplayer, not so much with Warzone because you need that visibility. DLSS is, is slightly better compared to FSR 2.1, but uh, you know, you'll probably have to use DLSS. Let's try to compare DLSS and native with our RX 6600. Here we go. Ew, looks like our RX 6600 non-XT is still better compared to the RTX 3050 in here. They're more or less the same, still GPU bottleneck on both ends. Look at that one, it's a bit close, right? We've got 0.1 percent lows, or is around, oh, look at that one. 97, 102, 1 percent lows. It's pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty close, right? Uh, uh, the RX 6600 non-XT is leading here. Oh, look at that one, the 1 percent lows has bounced back. So at heavy action scenes, seems like the RX 6600 non-XT is probably, yeah. All right, let's try Almazra here on Real World Warzone Almazra. RTX 3050 and RX 6600 non-XT competitive settings. No contest, right? Look at that one, boys. Look at the frame times in the RTX 3050. That's really bad. It's really bad. For Warzone, AMD cuts are run much more better. And in terms of this one, efficiency, look at that one. 108 versus 100 watts, so yes. All right, so definitely a wash here for the RX 6600. Much more smoother. I can play with this one all day. I can hit those shots with those um, scores. Look at that on 46.1%, look, 50, not, that's really bad. Let's go with um, DLCs and natives. So even though we've set DLCs for RTX 3050, it's still pretty bad. Look at the 1% low, boys. 64 minus 112. That's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad in there. I mean, I, I guess the bright side in here is that we've got, you know, sort of like the same GPU power. But yeah, this is like a good win for the RX 6600. All right, let's move on to the next game, Apex Legends. All right, here we go. Apex Legends, competitive settings at 1080p. And that's our settings here. Let's try this out. Compare RTX 3050 and the RX 6600 non-XT. Let's pop some smokes and seems like our RX 6600 is still leading here. Let's see how this one turns out on heavy action scenes. All right, now we see in here, yeah, it's we're gonna 123 watts, 125 versus 99 watts seems like oh there's a little bit of frame time spike in there but one percent low still go for the rx 6600 in terms of still shots yes rx 6600 non xt still lays 100 percent gpu utilization versus 97 and look at that 115 watts versus 100 watts boys 
yeah so definitely the rx 6600 non-xt much more efficient yep our um uh, yeah yeah i mean that's 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 big lead in there 30 fps one percent low is definitely higher so let's go to our next game fortnite so in here fortnite we're gonna try out all three apis the extra the cleaving and performance mode let's start off with dx12 okay here we have dx12 and oh look at that both 99 percent for the rtx 3050 93 percent for the rx 6600 non-xt and looks like yeah um dx12 is amd strength and you can see that in here one percent lows swing out to the rx 6600 non-xt the rtx 3050 is a bit close in there but yeah this still this is a big win well this is win for the rtx for the rx 6600 non-xt look at that one boys 127 watts versus 100 watts all right so 129 watts boys like yeah the efficiency in here this is like 30 percent more power consumption on the rtx 3050 compared to rx 6600 non-xt this is um competitive settings right mostly low and all that stuff so yeah let's move on to dx11 here we go dx11 and once again we've got um a slightly better gpu utilization in here not maxed out compared to dx12 but same thing gpu power still um yeah the rtx 3050 still uses more power in here and once again our rx 6600 non-xt is better in terms of um yeah in terms of stats in here but one percent lows is yeah a little bit lower but look at that one percent lows about 40 fps difference and about 50 fps difference with average fps so yeah once again another win for the rx 6600 non-xt but let's see how this one turns out in performance mode and as always we know amd cards suck at performance mode so we're going to bump the minimum clocks for the amd cards to 2200 so here we go these are performance mode and here we are setting up all the settings for our radian driver so just click on that one and enable that one put in 2200 megahertz as our minimum clocks apply and here we go yep i'm not going to show the you know the stock settings because we all know performance mode for md cards just are terrible and in it look at that that's a surprising voice like um every fps goes to the rtx 3050 and we know that but look at the one percent lows it's pretty close 173 70 look at that it's pretty close usually in these settings the rtx rtx cards are usually like leagues ahead in terms of one percent lows and average fps but in this case it's pretty close in terms of one percent lows as the wind still goes to the rtx 3050 frame time spikes in there and look at that 0.1 percent lows are now swinging to the rx 6600 non-xt so this is a close one but the average FPS still goes to RTX 50. Let's go with Valorant in here. Valorant, um, competitive settings at 1080p. Let's try this one out. Yep, RTX, yeah. And yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, boys, if you like more these days. Let's try Valorant, here we go. And once again, as expected, 1% lows and 0.1% lows always go to the Nvidia cards and However, we do have the uh, average FPS going to the AMD cards and GPU utilization on the RTX 3050 is really maxed out at one point in there. But uh, I don't know. I think the win in here goes for the RTX 3050 card because of the 1% of point one percent lows. There's just a big difference on that one. Let's go for heavy action scene. Same thing. Look at that one, boys. It's almost like double in here, like 340 versus 216, 1% lows. So yeah, once you hit that like 600 plus FPS, that's pretty much negligible in there. But 1% loss, you will feel that. Let's go with PUBG. And in here, we're going to try competitive settings at 1080p, the X11 Enhance. All right, now here we are. And once again, our RX 6600 non-XT is, yeah, the winner here. 
pretty clear cut boys like what look at that one better up your chip is 165 one percent less for 123 look at that 18 18 watts 19 watts more for the rtx 3050 obviously the rtx 6600 non xt is much more efficient i mean it's a big like some games that wins for the rx 6600 obviously valorant and fortnite performance mode goes to rtx 3050 now if you want more of these this don't forget to subscribe to the channel boys we're trying to hit that 100 subscribers so yeah and on our next video we're going to be looking at the ryzen 4100 that cheapest ryzen cpu that you can get we're going to try that one out if that's good for competitive gaming so yeah if you're interested hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys on the next video